Pokemon's head is all dizzy. The scenery here looks different, too. Ooh, what should we do, Traveler? Please don't tell Paimon someone abducted us and brought us to some strange place that we can never leave. <sighs> You're right. Better to think of this as the beginning of a new adventure. <sighs> Thank goodness you're still here. If Paimon woke up alone, she probably would be trembling in a tree hollow. Let's follow this path for now. We might be able to meet someone and figure out what this place is all about. look weird to you. It almost looked like they were made of paper. Uh, and those two frogs over there? Yeah, they look like pieces of origami. Oh, by the shade of a lotus leaf stream, don't tell me you forgot how to jump. I, I didn't forget, Firecracker. I'm just not sure if what I remember is correct. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll have forgotten how to sing, much less notate a score. You still remember why we call you Stream, don't you? Yeah, because I've got a great singing voice. Although these days, the name seems more ironic than anything. Not just a great voice, one that evokes the gentleness of early morning dewdrops flowing into a spring. So cheer up and make the jump over. If you're still unsure, just use that roll of magic thread. I won't laugh, I promise. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten how to use that as well. I haven't forgotten everything, Firecracker. Your name, for instance. It's kind of hard to forget that you're named after your fiery temper. Now do me a favor and pipe down for a second. I'll be right over. <laughs> you saw that too, right? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? <laughs> this place is getting more confusing by the second. Anyway, I... Uh, why don't we go after those two frogs? They didn't look evil or anything. Plus, they might be able to help us out. 